Oh, you can still let me on TV? Alright, well as long as I'm here, the shootout sucks! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to talk about something else that sucks. What is the worst Leafs trade of all time? Alright, now how many of you just said Rask for Raycroft? A lot of younger Leafs fans think that because, well, that's probably the worst trade the Leafs have made in their lifetime. But let me tell you the tale of Tom Curvers. The Leafs were bad at the beginning of the 1989-90 season, so they made a trade with the New Jersey Devils to get defender Tom Curvers. In exchange, the Leafs gave the Devils a first rounder in 1991. Who cares where that pick ends up being? That's over a year from now. Let's make the playoffs and get knocked out in the first round. Woo! Then the following year, without a first round pick, the Leafs begin their season 1-9-1. and one. And Eric Lindros, the most highly touted prospect in the last decade, is slated to go first overall. What do we do? In one corner, you get the Leafs, who desperately don't want to stink. And in the other, you get the Quebec Nordiques, like, yeah, we're cool with stinking. So the Leafs and Nordiques make an absolute sham of a trade that makes the Leafs a little bit better, but not much, but just enough better that they finish ahead of the Nordiques. The Leafs still finished second last though. After finishing last, the Quebec Nordiques pick Eric Lindros first overall. That's a story for another day. Second overall, the expansion San Jose Sharks pick Pat Falloon. And with the third overall pick in 1991, courtesy of the Toronto Maple Leafs, Lou Lamorello and the New Jersey Devils select Scott Niedermeyer. The Leafs just released their list of their top 100 players of all time. Where do you think Scott Niedermeyer would have ended up if he was a Leaf? Before you answer that, Boreas Salming was number 8. If you want to know more about this trade, I just wrote about it. It's on the Steve Dangle blog on sportsnet.ca. It's a doozy. And it's even worse than what I just told you. But that was in the past. Now enjoy watching Morgan Riley, William Nylander, Mitch Marner, and Austin Matthews. Lesson learned for the Leafs? Hold on to your first round picks.